Good morning to all market participants and welcome to another Markets in Waves by Urbex Tower Studios here and today we're going to have a quick look on the index oil, gold, Nasdaq as well as Amazon. There is some parties that uh, show us mixed signals and there is some others that are a bit more clear. In either case, as always, we're going to have our main scenario and explain why this is supported and also the alternative scenarios. Of course, we're going to start with the DXY. The other day we talked about this ABC correction, guys, but I was expecting prices to move higher up to complete the ABC. The truth is that I don't really see a five wave impulse here and I don't really see a five wave impulse here either. Okay. What I do see is a five wave impulse down here. Which means now there's two scenarios in play. That can be in W, X, and Y, okay, with ABC, uh, ABC, and ABC as uh, uh, patterns out uh, right now. And the 100 Fibonacci ended wave C, which means wave two ended. And now we did wave one of this minor move to the downside. Most likely, when I go for wave two, then we're going to get three, four, and five, four, three, then four, and five. So you can understand. Since we're still in, in the media wave, not one this downside move is going to continue for a while. Either way, guys, whether wave two ended over here, which is what I'm currently thinking, and this is my main W, X, and Y scenario, then uh, or uh, either we're going to get another leg to the upside, and we'll explain how, which is the alternative scenario. Either way, I'm seeing more downside. Okay. Now, the alternative scenario is this, that this is a, well, W, X, and Y, it would be, right? Then we're going to get the A, the B, and the C, okay? Um, and then we're going to get the A, the B, and the C again for a Y. Or we'll leave it as A, B, C, as it is now. We're going to get another A, B, C, and then we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this is going to turn into a flat. We might get an irregular variation should uh, this wave C down here, because we're looking at ABC, break below the wave 5. So it could be a running flat or a, a, an expanding flat. Now, <clears throat> what do we see over here from our indicators? The RSI and the MACD do not really show any signals over here, apart from this minor hidden bullish divergence on the RSI and also on the MACD, which might be a signal for a move to the upside, okay, which means, well, we're going to do one A, B, the B here and the C here and then continue higher, or it could simply be, and as we look into the main scenario, the wave two, and then we're going to get three, four, and five, four, three, okay. I'm not going to look at targets for now it's too early i think we really need to get out that area over here first um we can expect the correction though to take us up to the 9035 okay in case we break above that then we should be looking at 9047 and then near to the previous high which is going to increase the chances of this becoming a different um uh, sort of um corrective pattern okay because we're still looking at this as wave two it might become a bit complicated that we w and x is going to be uh, like a flat or something with x popping above that too there is many scenarios we, talk, we can talk about but we have to take them all of course um one by one and as they the markets as the market structure is giving us um more clear signs or let's say they're approximately closer to the specific, specific pattern because if we start looking at all the patterns while we're not even near there then it's going to take us a while to analyze each market we can look potentially like at 10 different patterns uh, that are still relevant uh, that's on the DXY guys so no the USD uh, WTI which is the US oil you very well know that I am um, Okay, since this leg to the upside, I turned a bit uh, bullish, bullish in the sense that wave two ended uh, down here, and this is 
uh, a triple zigzag, uh, the double zigzag in B and a running flat down here in, in wave two, pretty much. Okay. And now we're looking at this as one, two, then three, four, and five, and we're going to move up for wave three. Okay. The other scenario, of course, is that, you know, um, wave two ended here. This is a leading diagonal, that's wave one, and that's two. That means it is minor one, two, three, four, and five. Similar projection either way. Because we're still looking at wave two <clears throat> uh, to give us a, um, you know, a correction down here. Now, the only case that we'll be looking at this to perhaps cause a reversal would be the case where you know, this is not one over here. Okay, and this would not be two. It would be like the three and the four, which means we need to go back lower to identify that, but it is very probable. And that is one, two, three, four, and five, which means, guys, wave five ended here. And that could be a reversal to the downside. Obviously, a lot, a lot of... Um, uh, leeway here to the downside, obviously, as you can see, either way. But I will be really pay attention to the medium, short and medium term, okay? That's one and two for me. It looks like we're going down for three. Four and five for A, then B, and then C is very likely to the six to one point eight, which is where your waves to usually correct down to. Now, if we manage to get that somewhere along the line of this base channel to the downside, well, that is going to give us a very nice cluster, a very nice confluence level. Okay, what the RSI and MACD tell us? Both are giving us a bearish signal. So, whatever count or structure we identify here, I am expecting more downside in the short and perhaps even medium term for uh, the prices of oil. Okay. Of course, after an ending diagonal uh, and then with <clears throat> like two signals successive from both the RSI and the MACD, it's a pretty good opportunity. Uh, you know, it's one of those patterns with combination, of course, that indicators that it's hard to miss. Uh, that's for the uh, US oil guys as well. So I'll be really looking close at the 67.82, which is a previous high. Because, yeah, and before we go, what if this is my A and my B is going to be here, you know? So we could see that stopping over here and moving another leg up, okay, for wave B and then get wave C, either for a running or expanding flat variation, which means this is going to be a triple zigzag, okay? And this is A over here, A, B, and C instead, okay? Uh, well, actually, it wouldn't be an ABC because this is a very clear ending diagonal. That's the thing. Uh, so what it would be in this scenario, uh, it would could be, well, uh, WX, uh, y, WX, Y, X, Z, perhaps. That could be the case. This could be an A, B, and a C here for wave Y. And then we're going to get this and this. Or... We might get that being a bit overextended. That would be the one, the two, uh, the three, the four, and the five for A, then B, and then C for Z. Okay. Either way, guys, what I'm saying is that pay close attention to the previous high of 67.82. If we get a, re uh, a retest a there and a rejection, then it could be uh, the case of uh, wave B being actually up here is going to increase uh, probabilistic probability wise right uh, now let's go on gold or oh, gold i'm looking at this scenario purely because i see this as a five wave move to the upside okay and until that changes to uh, some sort of correction i will be still looking at this in a similar view with a similar uh, eye uh, so i'm waiting for two then three four and five for wave one okay we talked about potentially this being an ABC expanded flat, and we did exactly the 161.8 Fibonacci extension. But what I did say is that I didn't like two things. One, I didn't like the fact that this 
looks like one, two, three, four, five over here, which means wave three is here. And I was expecting a four and a five, if you remember. And I wanted to see this five because of the structure, first of all. And second, because I wanted this base channel to be taken out. It didn't happen. But now, since we moved up impulsively, well, that is one, two, three, four, and five for the current moment. Okay, and we have internal one, two, three, four, and five. And the five wave move up, we're expecting for wave two. And then continue higher up, supposedly. What do we get over here? We didn't even go down to 38 point. So is there's good chances that we're going to go down to 18, 82, 77, even 72. But are, is this signal supported by the RSI MACD? Well, it's supported by both. Okay, so I'm expecting a correction in either case. Unless if, of course, guys, this correction turns into continuation to the downside, which means this is going to be wave one, and that's going to be wave two. Then we're going to get three, four, and five. But we're probably looking at ex overextending down here for this expanding flat uh, variation to the with wave C uh, going down to 18, uh, 28, which is the 261.8 Fibonacci extension of waves um, A and B. Okay, so that is also the alternative scenario, uh, of course, which is in play. The other list. Um, in my opinion, um, high probability yeah, scenario, or as, as the second alternative, let's say, is that wave five ended here, and this is one, two, three, four, and five. This is going to be like uh, some sort of continuation. Maybe we'll get a wave two here for ABC and ABC, and then we'll start moving lower down. So in case we, we move lower, right, in the medium term, and we'll break below the 18 37, 28, then start being worrying. Most likely that's going to be a, uh, a wave three um, of wave A. That is going to be a bigger correction, of course, right? Because wave one would have ended here, which means we're going to get a deeper wave two. Now, next, guys, Nasdaq. We haven't looked at Nasdaq for a while, but here's what we looked the last time we did look at it. We were looking at uh, wave four being done here with uh, what it looks like a truncated zigzag. Let me check that. Maybe not. Oh no, we did the 90. Uh, so this is a, a flat, guys, this ABC, okay, because wave B did the 90 Fibonacci retracement of wave A. And then wave C did the 61.8. It's very, fairly obvious. I don't need really to look at that. Wave 4 here, and we'll look at ABC for wave 1, ABC, ABC for 3, WX and Y, or ABC actually, yeah, for 4, and I'm expecting A, B, and C. I want to see this taken out, perhaps even with an overthrow, or even with a weak attempt, however, not below 14.0476, because and the diagonals can never be truncated, guys, do not forget that. Okay. Uh, and then move all the way down. This is my main scenario. Okay. And if we actually look at the RSI and MACD, we see we don't really we just see this MACD signal over here, which is pretty pretty minimum. Okay. So we've got one, two here, A, B, and then you've got one, two, uh, three, four, and five, perhaps. Okay. Or it could be a case uh, where this is, you know, according to that signal, okay. It's going to be a case where this is one, uh, A, B, and this is one, two. Uh, well, might be actually not the one, two. That would be one, two. One, two. No, that three will be very small. It would be, what could it be? Okay, this is one, two, three, four, and five here, which is one. And this is two, which is fine. It could be a case that this is going to be wave B of two. And then we're going to get down for a running or expanding flat variation. Okay, so that's the one and the two expected down here. And the truth is, do we get, do we get uh, to see, yes, 138.2. It means we can get up to 13.8 and 1.9.1, uh, which is a little bit higher from where we currently are for wave B, right? 138.2 uh, ex expansion of waves uh, of wave A uh, as a run or um, 
uh, uh, expanding flat variation in wave two. That would be the, the case over here, okay? Um, in either, either case, this correction to the downside, I don't think is gonna get us outside this, uh, this low over here, which is the base uh, trend line of this um, and in diagonal uh, baseline. If we do, if we do, then most likely things are going to be a little bit different from what we expect, okay? A break below that level and below the previous low would probably indicate this. And this is the alternative scenario. This is wave one, okay? One, two, three, four, and five impulse. And this is gonna be A, B, and C, guys, okay? For a, well, because it's ABC, ABC, and this is one, two, three, four, and five, right? Either a running flat or expanding flat variation. Um, so one, two, yes, and then we're gonna get the three, then we're gonna get the four, and then we're gonna get the five. Similarly though, we have another scenario that ignores this very short term signal on the MACD, which makes, makes a bit sense as well where this is one and two, and internally we'll have one minor, two minor, and this is just the beginning of uh, minor wave three in intermediate wave three, okay? I hope that makes sense. And Amazon, last time we looked at Amazon, oh, and I'm like, why does it look a bit far out? Let's just look at the one hour. Last time I was looking, we were looking at the Amazon guys, I was looking at this as ABC. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So I wanted an ending diagonal here because this is the last and final wave uh, five of five of five. And then expecting a correction. But since we got this sort of move over here, okay, guys, and we still move lower down and it looks like we broke outside the channel. Should we remain at the, uh, below that channel, outside that channel? That means that most likely this is one, two, it's gonna be three, four, and five for a correction. That is gonna be a big correction, obviously. Or it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna get one, then two, then three, four, and five. Again, for the same correction. Or it could be a case, guys, where for some magical reason, we're gonna get A, B, C only. Okay, and that could still be uh, some sort of ending diagonal over here, okay, of the open variation or something like this, which means that will be one and two, then three, then four, and then five. Okay, but as I said before, since we've broken outside the channel, as long as we remain below that channel now, I think we are done with wave five up here with a double top of uh, from wave three. And this is a simple ABC over here. Uh, a, B, yes, it is a flat with a triangle in wave B. And we had a five wave move to the upside for wave five. And it's as simple as that. It could get any simple. Obviously, then we've got this RSI and MACD signals as well, which are supporting the downside move a little bit further lower down, or perhaps even a bit bigger down. We might get this second signal, okay, after after we bounce up here and we receive a rejection. We might get something like this over here and then we'll get a huge uh, divergence over here, hidden bearish divergence uh, for Amazon. Okay, in either case, guys, um, the upside seems a little bit, uh, I mean, the probabilities for further upside now are not too high, unless if this is like simply a false break in that scenario, we could really see prices uh, going past the previous high at 35.64. Okay, this will be all for the, for the day, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any comments, you can leave them on the, uh, on the comment section on YouTube and I will get back to you as soon as I can.